Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tips and Tricks. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when I am doing a quilt with a lot of blocks on it, I use the same block pattern several times. And sometimes I would like to use that block pattern for a border design. But a lot of times there aren't border designs that match the blocks. So I'm going to show you how you can take a block and turn it into a design that you can then use as a border. Okay, so first of all, I am going to come over to the right side. I need to pick a design. So on the right side, I am clicking on the designs, and then I'm gonna scroll up. The first one I want to work with is one from Harriet Carpanini, and I'm gonna scroll through it, and she has one that's called Ring of Hearts, and I really like that. Okay, the first thing that I need to do is take this design and turn it into artwork. So I'm right clicking and I'm dragging down to convert to and over to artwork. Then the next thing I need to do, I am going to click on the shape tool and I need to split the designs. Now you'll notice up here on the left hand corner of the design, that's where the, the start and the stop point is and I want to make just half of this the design. So if I go diagonally down, this is the halfway point. I am right clicking on that point and then I'm coming, dragging down to split line. Now I'm gonna come back to my select tool so that it's all selected. And then the next thing I need to do is right click and ungroup. So I drag down to ungroup. Now coming over to the panes on the right side, I am selecting the uh, sequence pane. Now you'll notice as I mouse over, you can see the bottom one and there's the top one. Well, I think I am just going to delete the bottom one. So I am right clicking and I'm dragging down to delete. And there I've gotten rid of half of the, the block. And I could use this as a border design well, this, I can't connect it um, so that it's a border design very easy, but if I rotate it, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm coming up to the Modify tab, and then I am going to rotate 45 degrees left. And there you go. That makes it so that it's a kind of a nicer design for the border. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to see what it looks like uh, repeated in a border. Come back to the tools and then I'm coming over to the repeat option and I'm clicking on that and here it shows what it would look like repeated. I'm going to make it so that it's just one repeat and that's what it would look like this design repeated in a border. Now I don't know about you but I don't like how it's connected right there. So I'm going to close that and then I'm going to come back over to my shape tool and I am going to add a point here. Right click and add a point and then I'm going to delete that start point so I right click on it and delete the point and I'm coming over here right clicking and add a point and then right clicking on the stop point and then say delete a point. Now I'm coming to my select tool, so it's selected, and I'm coming up here on the ribbon and I'm saying repeat, and I'm just gonna make it one repeat, and that's a lot nicer. Um, maybe, well, I would even maybe take that out even more so that it's closer together, but it's personal preference, whatever, you, whatever you'd like to do. So that is taking one type of a block and turning it into a design that you can use for a border. Now I'm going to do another one. I'm going to delete that. And now I am going to come back over on the right side and I'm going to click on the designs. And then I'm going to scroll up to Pro Stitcher and I want one of their blocks and it's called, it's a HQ, it's their curly line. Scrolling down here a little bit. And the reason I'm choosing this is because it's different from what the one that I just did dragging it over. So the other one was just a square block, but this one is a diamond shape. So it isn't exactly 
um, square uh, and easy to cut off or easy to turn into a border. It's a little bit different. So I'm clicking on it so it is selected. And then the next thing remember you need to do is drag down and convert it to artwork. And then I'm coming over to the shape tool and selecting that. Now you notice this start and stop is in the middle of the design. It's not on the corner points like the other block. So what I ha you have to do a little bit different. So I am right clicking and I am saying on that point, right clicking and I'm dragging down to split line. And then I'm coming over to this point on the right side. I'm right clicking, dragging down to split line. Now I'm coming to my select tool. So they're all selected. And then the next thing I need to do is I'm right clicking and I'm ungrouping. And as I come to the right side, I am clicking on the sequence option. And as we look over here, there is that little part of a, the design. That's the bottom part and that's the top part. Well, I don't want that top part. That's just part of a design. So I am right clicking and I am dragging down to delete. And then I am clicking the, this part. I don't want that either. So I'm right clicking on that and dragging down to delete. And there's the design that is just part of that diamond shape. And I don't want it, if I um, stitch it out, I wouldn't stitch it that way either. So I'm going to come up and modify it. Click on modify. And this time I'm going to flip it so it comes up. Now what I want to do now, I'm going to go back to my tools and I'm going to repeat so you can see what it looks like as a border. And here again, I kind of don't like that, but um, I'd make it a little bit uh, so that it, there wasn't so much space between it. But it's personal preference. It just depends on what you like and maybe what the border is like, what you're doing. Okay, I am going to close that and I'm going to delete that. And I've got one more thing that I want to show you. Okay, so I have shown you how you can take a square block and turn part of it into um, a border design. And I've shown you how to take a block that's like a di or not a, yeah, diamond and um, how to turn, turn that into a design for a border. But what about if you want part of an edge to edge design? What about that? Okay, so back in the right panes on the, on the right side, I am clicking on the design folder and I am going to come down to the Sweet Dreams Quilt Studio. And she's got a panel that I really, really like. It's a modern leaf design. Let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. I really like this, but there have been a time or two that I wanted just that leaf. And I'm going to show you how you can get just the leaf or just part of a quilt, um, just part of an edge to edge design. So I am right clicking and dragging down to convert to, whoops, to artwork. And then what I need to do is I need to go to the shape tool. Whoops, I don't want to do that just yet. I am going to zoom in because I know where I want to split the design and it's right here in this area. So I'm going to zoom in and now what I'm going to do, now I want the shape tool and I am right clicking and I am going to split the design and right clicking and splitting the design. And then I'm coming with my, I'm selecting my shape tool now I'm hitting the space bar so that it zoomed me out so that I can see the, the all of the design in my screen. And I'm right clicking and I am ungrouping. Now I'm going to come to the right side, the panes on the right side, and I am clicking on the sequence panel. So there is the top part of the design. That's the leaf that I want and that's the other leaf that I don't want. So I'm going to right click and I'm dragging down to delete and then I'm selecting this other leaf and right click and drag down to delete 
and there I've got just that one leaf. Now, if I zoom in just a little bit more, I would probably come and get rid of these little bit of tails to make it a little bit smoother uh, as it ends right there. So I am turning the edge to edge into a block, or sometimes if you want, then you could turn it into um, a border. I hope this helps you to know how to take a design and break it up so that you can create a design for the border. Thanks so much for watching Pro Stitcher Designer Tips and Tricks.